Hello everyone, welcome to Pentacle Math Mania. My name is Captainist123 and today we will be working on expanded notation. Expanded notation is a form of writing a number in a way that shows the value of each digit. It breaks apart each digit according to their place value. Using a place value table, we can write the value of each digit that makes up a number. When we say or write the numbers in words, we are putting the values together in a sentence and therefore writing the number using expanded notation. Let's look at our first step, which is writing the place value of each digit that makes up the number, in this case, 7,853. Seven is in the thousands column, eight is in the hundreds column, five is in the tens column, and three is in the ones column. Now we're going to break it down. We multiply or extend each digit based on which place value position they're in. Let's look at the number again. Seven is in the thousands column. So seven represents seven multiplied by a thousand. Eight is in the hundreds column. So eight represents eight multiplied by a hundred or eight hundreds. The five is in the tens column. So the five represents five sets of 10 or five multiplied by 10. And lastly, the three is in the ones column, which represents three times one. In order to complete our expanded notation, we have to make sure to turn it into an addition equation by putting our brackets and our addition signs to put all the values together, like this. And that's it. Let us now switch it around. We have the following expanded notation. What can our number be? We know that nine goes in our thousands place, six goes in our hundreds place, four goes in our tens place, and five goes in our ones place. So that means nine represents 9,000, six represents 600, four represents 40, and five represents five, giving us 9,000, 645. Our last switcher before we go. Can we figure out the missing numbers? 5768. In expanded notation, what number would you put where? Well, 5 is in our thousands place, so it goes first, followed by 7 in our hundreds place, then 6 in our tens place, and lastly, 8 in our ones place. Well done! You can figure out expanded notation for any number. Just remember to pay attention to your place value and value of your digits. Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on pinnacle.com to earn points and win great prizes.